Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. We've gained a ton of new information on Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 over the past 10 days or so, thanks to all the reveals. And when it comes specifically to Warzone 2, we now have a better idea of when it's going to be released, what's going to happen to current Warzone once Warzone 2 drops, and we even got a sneak preview of the map that not all that many players have actually been talking about. We're going over it all today as we do so. If you enjoy the video at any point, or if you're excited for Warzone 2, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, or if you have not already subscribed, each and every single day, I got you covered with all things going on. News, updates, loadouts, tips, you're gonna find it all right here. So feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications. So while we've yet to see the official reveal for Warzone 2 happen, and for what it's worth, we have no idea when that's going to take place. Uh, we can assume sometime in late summer, we're going to see the multiplayer reveal for MW2. We also know we have information on Spec Ops slash what's supposed to be DMZ coming at some point in the future. No ETA has been given for the Warzone 2 reveal, but uh, anyway, despite these past few reveals being all focused on MW2, Call of Duty actually put out a decent amount of info regarding Warzone's future specifically, which I'm not gonna lie, I was somewhat surprised by. Here is the direct quotes from the Call of Duty blog in regards to Warzone 2 and the future of Warzone as we know it now. They say October 28th marks a new beginning for Call of Duty, starting with the release of Modern Warfare 2. Soon after, a wholly new Warzone will launch as an extension of the Modern Warfare 2 universe. We'll come back to all these individual quotes and talk about them in just a moment uh, as well. With it comes new technology, new features, and new gameplay that will work seamlessly together. Throughout, we have taken a wide range of community feedback to heart. In order to fully deliver this state-of-the-art experience, Warzone 2 will feature new Modern Warfare content and systems with brand new progression and inventories. Today's Warzone will continue as a separate experience that will include a continuation of player progression and inventories within that Warzone experience. We can't wait to share more details soon. Development on the all-new dynamic Warzone 2.0 experience is also being led by Infinity Ward along with Raven Software. So if you don't remember back during the initial launch year of Warzone, uh, Infinity Ward was fully in charge of the project and it wasn't until the Cold War era was integrated into Warzone where Raven really stepped in and had the main role. This time we're back to IW being the leader with Raven also being there to work on things uh, as needed so sort of a tag team thing going on there which really I just think is a good thing it essentially just means there's more hands on deck we'll talk about this more in just a moment as well the new free-to-play battle royale warzone also features the same technology powering modern warfare 2 so both titles leverage the call of duty engine that first debuted with MW 2019 providing the most seamless and advanced call of duty experiences ever in addition, expect more intel on a new sandbox mode in the brand new play space as we get closer to launch. Now, there was a lot of different things discussed there, even though it was only about two paragraphs long and a lot of individual confirmations. So initially, this actually 100% confirms that Warzone is launching this year before December 31st, 2022. They say soon after the launch of MW2 on October 28th, we're going to see Warzone 2 drop. Now, based on all the leaks and all the rumors that uh, the insiders have been talking about since this was announced, it seems like this is going to take place uh, sometime in early December, which uh, you guys might recall a little while ago, I was talking about how if Warzone 2 is dropping this year, a launch before the holidays is somewhat concerning because it could be a repeat of the Cold War and Vanguard updates where they drop a huge update, or in this case, a brand new game. And then, you know, a week after launch, they're out of office for two weeks for Christmas and New Year's and all the holidays going on there, which has not been proven to be a, a working recipe, right? Because it's always leading to a very broken game for two weeks. But if they're dropping this in, you know, very late November or very early December, there is a lot of breathing room there to do any necessary post-launch updates right away and make sure the game is smooth while the devs will be out of office. So 2022 launch is confirmed. And as of right now, it looks like early December is that targeted date. Now, probably one of the most important pieces of this uh, content here that we get out of this blog post is the fact that uh, Warzone 2 is going to be a full reset. It's going to feature the content and systems with brand new progression and inventories from Modern Warfare 2. We're not going to see MW 2019 content here. We're not going to see Cold War content here. We're not going to see Vanguard content here. 
Warzone 2 is a full reset as far as all the content goes. They have not talked about, uh, you know, all the stats and everything, if those will reset, but as far as blueprints, uh, operator skins, everything like that, it's staying in the current version of Warzone, Warzone 1, which as they said in that is going to continue to exist. And that's where you'll be able to use all this content you already have unlocked between MW 2019 and Cold War and Vanguard. So two separate Warzone experiences, the old one, which we're currently playing now within Warzone 2, the full and fresh reset version of Warzone. Now, like I said, when they say it's being led by Infinity Ward along with Raven, that means there's going to be people around in every department, more people around in every department to work on this game. It's been apparent in the past, both with Infinity Ward and Raven, when each were leading the game at one point in time, that it seemed like they were a little bit in over their head. Of course, Warzone 1 wasn't supposed to be a multi-year experience. It was supposed to be just a third mode for MW 2019. And then obviously it blew up and everyone was playing it. And of course they couldn't stop it after one year. So uh, it definitely seemed like they were in over their heads at times where things just were not getting fixed accordingly uh, in a uh, punctual manner, right? It just was taking way too long to get the game to a playable and fresh state. But if you got two people, two studios working on this now, Infinity Ward and Raven together, who both have experience on it now, that should mean good things. Uh, also, this does confirm Warzone 2 is going to continue to be free to play, just like Warzone 1 was. That's obviously very good for the player count, for the audience. That said, hopefully it doesn't again encourage massive amounts of cheaters to get onto the game like we saw with Warzone 1. Ricochet is going to be included with Warzone 2 uh, on day one of launch, whenever that ends up happening in December or late November, potentially. Uh, so that'll be there uh, existing already. Hopefully that counteracts some of the cheaters. There still will be some regardless, but hopefully that free to play uh, aspect of it doesn't end up becoming sort of a plague in some cases like we had with the start of Warzone. Now, like I said at the start, outside of this blog post, which gave us a lot of information, clearly we've already actually seen a little teaser for the Warzone 2 map. During the MW2 reveal trailer, there is a very brief section we see an overhead view, and I'll freeze frame it for you guys here on the screen. This is Warzone 2. This is the map that we're going to be playing on. It ends up zooming into what is actually High Rise, which has now been confirmed by Call of Duty to be High Rise in this uh, city area. But as far as this zoomed out version goes, obviously it's not the highest quality. It's not the most detailed, but we can sort of point out various aspects of this. You can see on the left side of the screen, there is a river going up through almost into the city. There seems to be a decent amount of verticality here with the uh, city buildings, then also the hills surrounding it. A river is also on the lower right hand side and uh, center in there, of course, like I said, is high rise as well. So. Obviously just a small little portion of the Warzone 2 map, but yes, they actually are already teasing this. And I imagine that in some future reveals, they will subtly be saying things about Warzone 2 that we might not initially see as things for Warzone 2. It's more indirect like this was, but it definitely is a very cool little thing an Easter egg, I guess you could say from that initial trailer. But yeah, with all that being said, that is effectively everything we currently know about the Warzone 2 update and the Warzone 2 launch. And that's going to wrap things up for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, or if you're excited for Warzone 2, let me know by dropping a like rating on it. It really does help grow the channel. And if you're new to the channel, or if you have not already subscribed, I got you guys covered with the latest news, updates, loadouts, and tips. So feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications. That way you can always guarantee you are up to date. As always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL for a discount on all SCUF, G Fuel, Gamer Advantage, and Control Freak products, and the links for all those can be found down in the description below. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in, and until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.